Hello everybody, it is Chief Flamehead here, and welcome back to another animation tutorial. We are using Minimator, and last time I just showed how to simply make somebody walk real nice and slow, and then how to jump up on top of a block and cease walking. So now in this episode, we are going to be showing you how to actually give the person eyes. So what you're going to want to first do is you're going to want to go to Nova Skin Editor, which I will have a link in the description. And with Nova Skin Editor, you're going to want to pick out the skin of your choice. And then after you've selected the skin of your choice, why don't I just quickly get Nova Skin Editor up for you guys here. Alright, so once you've selected the skin, I just simply picked a uh, random skin. And you're going to want to go to the eraser tool, and you're going to click on that. And you're going to want to make sure you have the eyes, so make sure that they have no uh, toggle on the top of their head. And then you're going to want to go to their eyes, and you're just going to want to get rid of the actual eyes themselves. So now you can see, you can see right through them. And then you're just going to want to go to save, and then you can save it as whatever you want. So we're just going to name this lol. The description is going to be lol 2.0. And then you hit save. And then the file will save. And then you simply hit download. And then you're going to want to save this file to wherever you want it. So you're going to do save image as. And then you're going to want to save it to wherever you want. So I'm just going to save it to desktop. And we're going to name this lol 2.0. And then we're going to hit save. And now we have actually saved our image to the desktop. You can see it's right there. And now, if we go ahead and... Yes, all right, I see. Go into here. Let's say we wanted to create a new skin, then we would simply hit here, and we would go where it says uh, skin. And then you're going to hit uh, browse. And then you're going to want to go to wherever you saved it to. I saved it to desktop, and you're going to see it's right there. Then you'll double-click it and then you're going to hit create and it will create that skin but we already have our skin here that we're going to be using so now to actually do the face itself so you're going to want to go up to the crafting table and you're going to want to click on that you're going to want to go down to this 3d square you're going to click that and um, I would recommend having no texture doing white and then you're going to hit create so you're going to see it's going to put the cube it should put him relatively close to your character if you haven't moved the character much at all so the first thing you're going to do is click on the cube, and this will save you a lot of time if you do it in this order. If you click on the cube, and I believe I'm in the work camera currently, so I can I can just shrink that down. So if you click on the cube there, you're going to instantly want to go to partner, and then you're going to want to partner this cube with the head of the person. So you're going to go ahead and hit head, and you'll see it'll just snap right over the head. Sometimes it will not snap instantly to the head, and then you're just going to have to adjust it using these however you want. So, uh, wow. It was nice. I liked how it just got rid of itself magically. So let's put it in the head, and we're going to want to go to scale. And rather than having the scale at 1, I do point forty-five and you see it puts it perfectly into the head right there and so if we go all the way around you can see right where the eyes are you can't ever see any anything except for the white now if this is too far back you'll be able to see the green through plus it'll show up in the back of the head so you're just going to want to make sure it's perfectly in line and if it doesn't line itself in perfectly because sometimes it doesn't and it's way over to the side then you can use your own judgment and move it into the middle however you need it to be done so that's the base done. So now you can see if we move his head, if we move it up and down or side to side, it locks there. So it looks like there is a little bit of glitching going on at the bottom. So we're going to select this, and we're just going to move it, boom, just in a little bit. And then we'll check um, the top, select the head. You can see there's nothing on the top. Swing around, doesn't look like there's anything on the back. So we are all good there. And even if I'm to move the whole body... You see the head will still move with it, so we're all good there. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to add in the eyes. So for this, we're just going to take the same cube that's on the inside, and you're going to hit this button right down here on the timeline. You're going to hit duplicate. So now it's duplicated the object. You can see I can pull this off to the side. So now we're going to partner this with the cube. 
So you can see it shrinks it down a little bit and it partners it with the cube. So now this is locked with the cube that's locked with the head. So you're going to want to name these different things just so you do not get confused. So we're just right away, we're going to pick the cube that is in the guy's head here. So we're going to go over and name it. We're going to say inside head. You can name it like eye background or whatever you want. Then we'll select this cube right here and we can name this left eye. So now this is too big, so we're going to shrink this down, and you can pick the size. So if we do a 0.1, you can see that's a little, little, that might work, but it also might be a little bit too small. So we can just test that out by bringing this over to the actual guy's head, and then we'll bring it forward here, and just drag it up to wherever you need the actual eye to see stuff a little bit better. You can go ahead and click on color, go to the blend color, you can select the color that we want. We're going to give him some deep blue eyes just because they're going to show up nice. And you just hit OK. So now you can see you actually have the color and the eyes are actually starting to come together. So if we zoom way in here, about right here, and we move this in, we want to go until it's just about there. So we'll put it two, two pixels through. And then you just want to focus it wherever you want the eye to be. So if we want the eye to be a little bit further over, maybe a little bit more in the middle, Let's get straight on here, move it up, and we can go uh, upward a little bit. If we come over to the side, grab the blue one, we can just sort of center that one. It still needs to go up a little bit. And now once you've got your eye actually centered, we can look, and I do want this to be bigger. So if we do 0.15, you can see that makes the eye a lot bigger. So we might just want to try something like a 0.14, and it may end up being too big, but you can mess around with it and do it how you want. So that right there is a pretty good eye. Again, if you want it smaller, you can. So it's very simple. You just go down, you hit duplicate once again. You can see it copies it to left eye. You want to right away. You can just name this to right eye. And then you're going to want to just move it straight over onto the guy's other eye and align them how you would like to. And that is the guy's actual uh, eyes and face done. So now, as you can see, when we move the guy, the eyes and the face will actually go with it. But now, let's say you want the eyes to actually move. During we want them to move to the side. So we're going to say from frame 30, right here. So we'll go to the right eye, and we'll set a marker right there, and also a marker right there. And we want it to move from frame 30 to frame 45. We want him to actually move his eyes. So why don't we come out here, and we can click on his actual eye. We'll start with the left eye. Okay, so that's his right eye. Actually, I need to get these right. So it's negative 4.45. So I want it to move to negative 5.45. And then I want this one to move to 5, or sorry, 3. 0.45. So now you can see his eyes will actually move simultaneously over to the side. And that is pretty basic as to how you do the eye movements with a person that has a two eye slit. So you can just simply move them and move the cubes however you want. You can move them up and down. It won't look too good if you have this size of eyes. Of course, you can shrink the eyes if you need. But if we want to do a four or a 2x2 two two eye, then you're going to want to go ahead and put in the person that I just showed you or whoever you choose to pick. So we're going to go to desktop and we're going to do lol 2.0 and then we're going to create lol. So right away we're just going to want to go to the very beginning just that way we don't set any and unnecessary keyframes we don't want to set. We can zoom right in on lol's face and you can see that she has the 2x2 two two eyes, and I would recommend doing 2x2 two two eyes just because they're a lot easier to catch emotion uh, in the eyes as you can expand the eyes bigger. You can make them go up to the corner like they're looking upwards. Uh, it's a lot easier, so we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to create a cube. We're going to hit Create. So this came right into the person just like we thought. So then we're going to go and partner this with our secondary Steve. So you can see nothing showed up for us to partner with that other Steve. 
and so what you're going to want to do is you're actually going to want to click on like the Steve head and then you'll it'll show all of the statistics so now we'll go back to the actual cube and we'll partner this up with the Steve head right here so now just so it doesn't get confusing we're going to name Steve we're going to say um, the warrior warrior uh, 2 and that will work perfectly and then we'll go ahead. Did I miss? I misspelled warrior on this one. All right. There we are. I can't believe I didn't see that. All right. So we're going to go back to the cube and then we're going to put the cube size to exactly what we did before, which is 0.45. And it puts it perfectly in the head. Sometimes, again, see, um, it's glitching on the bottom a little bit. So you're just going to want to move it up until that glitch goes away. So you can see that glitch is gone. We can just double check here. We can select the head. Uh, not the cap, but the head. All right, where's the head? There we go. And then we can just move it up and down to make sure there's no glitchiness going on, which there does not seem to be. So now that we have that in, we, once again, we're going to take this and we're going to name this. Uh, we can just say behind the eyes, just something that you're going to remember. And then, once again, we'll copy this and then right away you're going to want to just pull it over to the side so you know that you have that one and you're going to want to partner this one with uh, the behind the eyes so then you're going to hit that and it'll make it a little bit smaller but it'll partner with the behind the eyes so now you're going to want to shrink this down to whatever you want it to be so let's say we want it to be a point two. we can try it might be a little too big but it might also be just right. So then we're going to go to blend color again. Let's give her green eyes about right there. Hit OK. And then we'll pull the cube forward until it shows there. And then we'll swing it over into here. So now we're going to zoom way in. You can see it's pretty hard to actually tell where the actual white is, but you can see a little bit of a line right here. So we're going to just try and center this as much as possible on the actual face here. So right there, I would say would be about good. So now we're going to want to name this one. This would be uh, the left eye, I believe. Can I? All right. So why don't we name this left eye? I usually do capitals. You don't need to. And then we'll just go ahead and duplicate that. And then we'll name this uh, right eye. So now we have right eye. Did I put? Yeah, all right. And apparently, I like putting E's at the end of this. Uh, S's, sorry. And then we're just going to slide over the right eye. We'll just slide that right over. So we'll look at this one. And this one is at 4.58. So we're going to want to set this to negative 4.58. And that should be the two lined up perfectly. So now that we have the actual eyes in, we might want to shrink the eyes or make the eyes larger in this case I think they're already big enough so why don't we select the eye that we want to do so we'll say this one right here and in between frame 30 we'll just set our markers for both of the eyes and 40 and we're going to want this eye to shrink so we're going to want to put it to a point 0.1 so now you'll see that the eye has completely disappeared. And that's because when you make it shrink, it goes behind. So now we might want to move it up a little bit, just so, it's, so it short, ah, sort of shrinks in the middle there. So you can see the eye perfectly shrinks down. It moves up a little bit, but with that shrinking motion, you can't really tell. And if that does bug you, then you can just go to that, and then you can just move it down a little ways. So now we have that eye done. You can see that's pretty good. So now we're going to go to the other eye, and we'll set our marker, and we'll put this to a point 0.1 as well. And this one is at 4.58, so that one's negative, um, 4.58. So now we want, um, so we look at this one, and it's 2.70. So now we're going to take this one, and we're going to change this to 2.70. 70 and then you can see this one here is 7.3 and so now we're going to change this one to 
uh, 7.3 as well. So we'll go 7.3, and they'll both come forward, and you can see the eyes actually get smaller um, in fear or realization in something. I guess this could be... Um, I guess you you do the um, emotions on the face how you want them to. Of course, you can shrink them down however much you want. But that's how we're going to do the shrinking. So now if you watch the eyes, they actually shrink down. And that's perfect for what we want. So now let's say after the eyes shrink down, we want them to like move up into the corner or something. Then we'll go ahead and say right in between frame 45 here. We'll set down the markers for both of these. And frame 55, we want them to move up and over. So you can see they look a little bit silly right now. So we're going to look at these. And this is negative 5.15. So this will set to 5.15. We'll look down at this one here. And we're only going to need to change the Y chords because those are the only chords that we changed because we just moved it straight up. So these Y chords are 3.91. So we're going to set these to 3.91 as well. And the eyes, um, of course, uh, we actually need to reverse this. So these eyes are 3.91. But what I'm going to have to do now is I'm going to have to look at this eye right here. So if we go back to the original position of this eye, and we click here. This was at 2.7. So it goes from 2.7 to 3.91. So let's do the quick math there. So the difference between here and here on the Y is 1.21. So in between frame 45 and here, there's a 1.21 increase of height. So now we're going to want to do a 1.21 decrease in height uh, on this one. So we're going to want to bring this down to a normal 1, or sorry, up 1. And then we're going to want to bring this up by a 21. So from 91, then we'd go to 11, and then... Sorry, we would go to um, point. We'd go to 4.11, which would be 4.11, and so now that sets it perfectly uh, where we need it. But now we'll look back at this one once again. Um, I accidentally moved it the wrong way, so you can see this one's um, this one right here is at negative 5.15, and this one's at 5.15. We're going to want to change that to 4.15. And you can see the eye perfectly moves over. I know a lot of that was confusing. Uh, I hope I showed it as good as I possibly could. But now when you hit play, you can see that the eyes move in sync. And of course, they don't need to. But that is how you do the basics on someone's actual eyes. And yeah, uh, these are my, my own designs, my own ways of doing it. Um, so yeah, I do hope that you guys did enjoy this quick little tutorial as to how to get people's eyes to actually move in this. And if you did enjoy this video, be sure to like, comment, and if you really want to, you could go ahead and subscribe. I would really love that a lot. But this has been Chief Flamehead, and I will see you guys all in the next Minecraft video. Adios.